And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Thursday, the 18th of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to give you an update on what's happening in the markets today. Let's have a look at the news first of all. Of course, equities in the US overnight were softer. Markets taking a pause. The FOMC minutes reinforced the Fed's aggressive stance on interest rates. And we did have some inflation data out of the UK earlier in the day, which upset markets a little bit as it beat expectations. US futures are slightly down in the Asian session and Asian indices are following that weaker US lead with the ASX down about a third of 1% in early trading. European futures are suggesting a slightly milder open, however, at this stage. Uh, but of course, there's a few hours to go before European markets open, so that may change, of course. In the FX world, the US dollar index remained near the top of the short-term range. It's fairly neutral in Asia. We are seeing some weakness in the Aussie dollar this morning. We'll have a look at that in a moment with one of the pairs. Gold is below that 1800 resistance, which it has been now for a couple of weeks. Uh, trading around 1780 in Asian trading today. And oil has paused from the recent selling, but slightly down in Asia today, under $100 still, of course. Copper's paused at the key 360 level. We did see a little bounce in the VIX on that equity weakness of six month lows, as we reported earlier in the week. Bitcoin hasn't gathered any buying momentum and is still trading below that 24,000 key level, fairly near the top of the range. And Australian jobs data, which was released this morning, is weaker than expected, though the headline number is improved. The reason for this is that number of part-time jobs has increased, although full-time jobs has decreased. So it's a slightly misleading number, that headline number, on where things actually are. The Aussie dollar is weak as a result of that. The US weekly jobs and manufacturing data are the key highlights this evening. Let's have a look at a couple of charts which have caught our interest this morning. And it makes sense to start with an Aussie cross. We are looking at the Euro Aussie. Here's the daily chart. We've been stuck under this 147 level since the back end of July. So around about three weeks ago, we are last trading here. We've had several attempts in the meantime to break through it without success. Uh, but look as though we're shaping up after a weaker day on the Aussie dollar yesterday and some follow through. We just think that we might get a move up to retest 148.15 which is around about 100 pips up from where we're trading right now and if we look at the short term chart you can see the efforts made not only last night but also in Asian trading this morning to push us up above that level uh, still stuck around that 147 mark uh, one of those nice round numbers that the market seems to like you can see the response to that Australian jobs data there so one to watch for later in the day perhaps if we look at the ASX Somewhat surprisingly, Whitehaven Coal has had another good day at the office so far. You can see that it's now at new record highs and has breached that important $7 level. We liked Whitehaven Coal when it was over this 650 level and suggested $7 as a target. Uh, now we're here and it is blue sky from here. We are not seeing any reason at all why this may slow down. And certainly, fundamentally, the company looks very strong. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.